بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى In this short video we're just going to talk about why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala name Surah Al-Anfal the way he did Surah Al-Anfal um, for those of you who have uh, read it and indeed for those who haven't is about the battle of Badr essentially Surah Al-Anfal is uh, mainly about the battle of Badr in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the incidences before and after and during uh, and also um, giving a summary overall of what happened there but also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to some things which are uh, not directly from the battle but they are accompanying the whole topic now the word amfal actually is where comes from the word nafil which means extra and in this context it's used to mean the extra things that are going to be get, gotten from the battle so when you're in battle usually what happens two armies meet they clash uh, the losing army is obviously defeated they can either yani, retreat and run away and whatever they leave behind in the battle is usually very precious stuff so swords shields uh, maybe even horses uh, maybe there's you know they're carrying with them uh, money food whatever is with them that is considered as spoils of war and that's what's known as amfal and so that is all collected and then it is uh, distributed according to uh, certain uh, proportions now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts this surah uh, in uh, like I mean the Quran is a beautiful way so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets the scene if you like it's a summary so it's almost like uh, the, the battle has happened it's ended the whole uh, scenario has finished and now the, the, the starting of it is that they're asking now about the spoils of war so the, 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 it's like خلاص, everything has happened the victory has occurred and now you're asking about the spoils of war and then the Quran the, the surah talks about the different aspects of this um, of this um, specific uh, incident and so on now when you read this surah you will also see that this surah is full of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding the believers even though they were the people who were fighting the battle Remember the the Muslims in Quray, uh, the Muslims in Badr were 313 people or 314. They were very few in number compared to the thousand man army in Quraysh. And all along the battle, all along the incidents prior to it and during the battle, it wasn't them who were actually fighting. It was Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who gave them the victory. And Allah makes that makes that clear throughout the surah that if you think about all the things that left here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who sent down the rain on you so that he would give you that steadfast and he will give you that purity and to give you steadfast he sent down the angels to fight with you and in fact the angels were fighting uh, with you and they were uh, you know they were uh, attacking the kuffar and they were killing them and they were hitting them uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds the believers that it was he who helped them it was he who supported them even his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was he Allah who helped the prophet when the Quraysh were trying to kill him they were trying to imprison him they were trying to uh, exile him they were trying to do all these different functions Allah is the one who protected the prophet and he is the one who saved him and you were little in number you were nothing you were small in number and you were defeated uh, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the one who gave you the support and gave you the help and the victory so if when you look at the whole story it's talking about the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in fact it wasn't you who fought in Badr it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when you ask who to whom belongs the Anfal Allah says they belong to Allah and his messenger because in in reality you didn't do anything it's all from Allah and that's why even it's more prominent in one verse of the Quran Allah says it wasn't you who killed them but it was Allah who killed them. وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَ اللَّهَ رَمَى And when you threw, O Muhammad because the Prophet threw some sand in the, in the beginning. وَمَا رَمَيْتَ It wasn't you who threw when you threw, but it was Allah who threw. So in fact, everything was done by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why do you come now asking about the spoils of war as if like you're wanting to get 
a material because in fact everything is from Allah and will return to Allah so you should be happy with what Allah has given you of ni'am and of spoil so this surah is almost engaging the whole context of the human life in fact because whatever you have is a ni'mah from Allah what you have is a blessing from Allah. that goes back to what we spoke about before the taraweeh which is that we have to be grateful to Allah and even our gratitude to Allah is a ni'mah from Allah as well